My name is Tiresh Yadav. I am working as a postdoc researcher at Power Electronics Group of Delhi University of Technology. This is Power Electronics Lab where all our group members conduct their experimental in different areas. Currently, me and my colleague Dr. Andrew Chu are working on partial power converter topology for applications such as battery and PV. This is an PPC prototype. This structure consists of a series low voltage port and a parallel high voltage port which are connected through a high frequency transformer. As I mentioned earlier that it is a high efficiency converter, the measured efficiency of this PPC was more than 98%. This figure shows the efficiency measurement along with the MPPT tracking for PV at 2.1 kW power level. A typical PPC structure and its squadrons are illustrated in figure 1. The proposed multi-port PPC architecture is shown in figure 1 as well. In this, a 3-port DC-DC converter forms two series ports and a parallel port of PPC. Therefore, we propose a dual input and single output PPC topology for battery packs integration into a DC bus. The verification of the proposed multi-port PPC is done using PCM simulation. This was the initial version of PPC structure. Let's move to the upgrade and optimize PPC structure. This structure offers a power density of 4.2 kW per liter. This structure gives an excellent PPC efficiency up to 99.3%. This is an efficiency curve of the PPC at different partiality. Power electronics groups also have a residential DC innovation hub to explore the sustainable electrification technologies. This concept will change residential energy supply principle, optimize energy flows and increase the energy efficiency of the future buildings. Zero emission buildings based on DC distribution will play a crucial role in the future electrification of the economic toward a sustainable society. Hence, the integration of PPC is a good step to achieve this objective. The next step is to integrate the partial power converter to the DC hub. In this, PPC controls the power flow within the network by using group control or any other approach. I would like to thank the IEEE M Professional and Student Activity Committee for financial support.